What's up everybody, welcome back to my laboratory where safety is number one priority and today I'm gonna show you 10 internet life hacks that actually don't work. Let's check this out. You know when you so far away from the plug you have to use two extension cords but when you walk away somewhere sometimes they pull on each other and unplug and it's so annoying and you have to come back and plug it back in together. And and the life hack says I should do this one right here. Make a knot over here and plug it back together, right? But the problem about this thing, guess what? When you pull it, you see you're breaking the wire over here, here and here. So when you pull it, look how much tension it is. And this is terrible for the extension cord. You're just gonna destroy it. The real life hack is actually right here. Make a loop. And just put it to the loop and then plug them up together right here so next time they're gonna be pulling from here you see there's no the wires doesn't have this like tension like it was here it does not break in the wire right here. okay for this life hack I got two similar sizes of candle and it says freeze your candle for about two hours before you use it and it's gonna last longer so that's what I did. I froze this candle for two hours and this one is normal. So and we're gonna light them up at the same time and let's see which one is gonna last longer. Okay guys, time to measure it. Let's check this out. This is all on the same level. I'm gonna put them up and Check this out. They burn on the same level, straight up. Exactly the same level as you can see. Uh, so don't waste your time and uh, be weird of who keeps his candle in a freezer. You know, it's actually not gonna uh, work out and your friend's gonna think, what the heck are you doing? Are you eating candles? I like this myth life hack. You know that everybody, when they get a coke out of a vending machine, they knock on top or knock on the side. And apparently it's supposed to reduce bubbles and it's not like, it doesn't fizz up as much. Okay, let's shake them both of them up and I'm gonna knock on one and on one I'm not gonna do anything. Let's ch check this out. I shake them up. One, two, three. One, two, three. So let's open them at the same time now. Uh, they blow up all together at the same time. Okay, let's try this again. To make sure, we gotta try this at least three, so three times, right? No. Okay, let's do this again. We're gonna shake them up a little bit less. We're just gonna drop it twice like that. And then I'm gonna go on top. One, two, three. Or one, two, three. Whatever you guys do. Is that what you do? Okay, and then I'm gonna open both of them. Actually, this one blew up even more than this one. Because while I was tapping it, I was actually shaking it even more. And this one had a little bit more time to settle down. Okay, one more test. Drop it once. And one, two, three. Some people do that instead of tapping on the top. So, let's open them. Yeah, still, still same amount of mess. How about I did not shake them up at all. I'm gonna tap this one. And this one I didn't touch, so let's open them. This one fills up way more than this one. Check this out. Because I was tapping it, this one halfway, and this one I have not fizz, fizz up all the way. Okay, for this life hack, you know, these earbuds, they say if you have tangled earbuds, you grab it by any corner, by this, by the end, by, by the ear, and ju just pull it and it will untangle itself. Well, let's check this out. First, you have to tangle it up. You know how you grab it your, and put it in your computer bag and stick it and it's there. You grab in time to grab other things so it's get the tossed around you know or like you put it in your pocket so we're gonna pull it out try to toss it around okay looks like it's been promising untangling 
But then you get this knot at the end no matter what. It looks like, yeah, it's about to get a tangle, but then you ended up with a knot like that. So it doesn't really work. So it's been a while since it's been sitting like that, about an hour. I'm gonna undo this part right here. And I was actually pretty excited about like this life hack and thought it's pretty cool. Okay, that's pretty cool, right? It's staying together. Looks like it's a legit one, right? But if we stretch it out to grab it and try to put it together, guess what? It doesn't go back together. You stretch it out, you know, you need to grab your phone, stretch it out. The idea is so it would get back together, but it doesn't. Not even that, it doesn't go back together. It's actually broke my cable because I was spinning it so hard. There was like micro, you know, breaks in there. So, and somewhere it just broke. This cable, it does not work anymore. So, don't try to do this one either unless you want to break your own charger and go buy another one. So for this life hat that actually don't work, you got this wire, you know, car charger for your cell phone. You plug it in over here and all. You know how the wires could be long and messy in your car, so that life hack suggests... So that life hack suggests wrapping it up, your wire, like tightly, like this, on a pencil, to make, like, you know, those old school telephone wires, to make a regular... Um, cable like charger cable into a telephone wires like a spiral wire we're gonna grab a piece of duct tape and tape it up on both sides so so it stays like that for a little bit to get tight so it's been a while since it's been sitting like that about an hour I'm gonna undo this part right here and I was actually pretty excited about like this life hack and thought it's pretty cool Okay, that's pretty cool, right? It's staying together. Looks like it's a legit one, right? But if we stretch it out to grab it and try to put it together, guess what? It doesn't go back together. You stretch it out, you know, you need to grab your phone, stretch it out. The idea is so it would get back together, but it doesn't. Not even that, it doesn't go back together. It's actually broke my cable. So in this life hack, they say microwave frozen pizza with a glass of water, so it's the bread is not soggy over here. Well, let's check it out. So I'm gonna put pizza with a glass of water, close it, and set it for like a minute. So they were saying the bread is supposed to be crispy, but as you can see, it is very soggy. You see how much it smooshes? And it does not break whatsoever. So I cannot listen to everything what they say on the internet. So they say if you cook a macaroni and cheese or macaroni, uh, if you leave a spoon, wooden spoon on top of this, the bubbles not gonna go over the um, the pot. So let's check this out. Okay, looks like it's not spilling out so far at all yet. But what if we're not gonna have that spoon? Will it spill out anyways? Let's check it out. So gonna take off this spoon and let's see if it's actually gonna spill out without the spoon. Well, looks like it's not spilling out without the spoon either. Check this out. I got this wooden spoon and it's actually spilling out because of the spoon. You see what I'm saying? Let's try to take it off this spoon and guess what? It's actually not spilling out at all. It doesn't even make sense to have a spoon at all. Just make sure to make the fire lower if that happens and all these bubbles gonna go away and stir it and all these bubbles will go away. That's the best way to do it and a normal way to do it. In this life hack, you know, you grab your envelope and you sealed it, but you forgot to put something in. 
So you put a couple of things there and you realize that you forgot to put one more piece of paper in your envelope. And on internet they say if you put it in the freezer it will be able to open it and it's resealable. Let's try it and let's see if it actually works. For this life hack they suggest use one of these can openers uh, to open these annoying packages. You know this package is really annoying to open and they say I need to put the blade like that and spin it. And guess what? It does not open anything. So we're gonna open it, put it in and try to cut it. Nope. It's, yeah, it does not do anything. It's really actually makes it even harder, I would say. Uh, can openers, it does not work. I open cans with this ones, no problem, super easy. But, you know, it's just like so annoying, still like super hard. So you better off just finding scissors. Or the only real life hacks to do this is when you have this hole bigger and you put your fingers to here and pull it apart, like in this video. This life hack, if you're on a road trip, you know, you don't have scissors and you just bought one of these things and how to open it without uh, scissors. You just grab it in this hole right here, stick two fingers and just pull it open, boom. That's how easy it is and you don't ever have to like, you know, worry how to open it. Sometimes you can spend so much time, but this is simple. Alright guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what do you think in comments below and as always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and subscribe to my second channel. Links in the description. Uh, Slow Mo Lab, me and my brother are doing some crazy stuff. Check it out, subscribe and as always, see you next time. Even if I blow it, it falls off. Okay, then we're gonna set it up and if I'm gonna flip it around, guess what's gonna happen? It just doesn't fall. Why is that?